The family of Michael Marshall, he's the man seen in this video being taken down by Denver Sheriff's deputies, will get $4.6 million after Marshall died in jail custody. Good evening, and thank you for, for joining us tonight for Denver 7 at 5. I'm Andrew Heath. And I'm Shannon Ogden. Marshall was homeless. He had a history of mental illness as well. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez is live. Lance, part of the settlement, as we said, includes a change in mental health policies. A change in both staffing and training. Now, both jails, downtown and at Smith Road, will soon be staffed with mental health professionals round the clock. Right now, it's often just the day shift that's, that is covered. And all deputies will be trained on mental illness in jails and mental illness use of force. He was looking for his Bible. This is how this all started. Natalia Marshall says her uncle Michael, who suffered from schizophrenia, became agitated when he couldn't find his Bible, so he called police for help. So instead of taking him somewhere to get help, they took him to jail. In jail, Mr. Marshall tried to skirt past several deputies. Five of them grabbed him and restrained him to the point where he vomited and died choking on it. Instead of simply saying we did nothing wrong and we're just going to fight, fight, fight and try to tear down the family, the city stood up this time. New city attorney Kristen Bronson says they made the difficult decision to propose a multifaceted settlement. The family will get 4.65 million. Jails will be staffed with full-time mental health professionals 24 seven. And the sheriff department will require all deputies be trained in how to handle individuals with mental health issues. If there would have been this type of mental health expertise at the jail the night that Michael Marshall was here, he very well could be alive today. It is our hope that the settlement proposed to city council will foster an environment of collective healing. Family members say the last two years have been a struggle. My uncle was not a criminal and I need that to be known. Now, Michael Marshall's niece said that she works in mental health. She says it's all about approach, especially how you approach someone who is feeling threatened. She is hopeful that the city's new commitments, which must be approved by city council, will help prevent a similar situation from happening again. In downtown Denver, Lance Hernandez, Denver 7. Lance, thank you. Just